And as we can see, taking to the skies is not without risk. One of the companies taking perhaps the biggest risk we've heard about uh, regarding drones is Chinese company Ehong. And joining me now is one of the co-founders of the company, Derek Shong. Derek, thank you much for joining us. Uh, you have the Ehong 184, which is actually built to carry a human, which I guess would mean it's an aerial vehicle as opposed exactly. to a drone. But you introduced it last year. You've been testing it this year, and now you have results of what happened. Tell us about the results of your testing. Sure. So since last year, the very first, you know, we unveiled this Ehan 184, the very first time in CES here in Las Vegas, exactly the same timing. After that, we basically, you know, went back to China and did more than 200 times of testing. And uh, some of testing, um, you know, including like passenger, with the passenger testing, and also at the same time, we built this, the Ehan Command and Control Center, which is a, you know, come as a complete solution for the Ehan 184. This command and control center does not only monitor the real-time data of the 184, but also can monitor the status, the speed, altitude, you know, the health level of the sensors for the 184, and provide this in-flight communication between the passenger in the 184 and the technician and engineers in the command center. It's a, it's a risky maneuver by, by any, for any company to, to try and do something like this. Uh, how are the results and the safety? Uh, any accidents? I mean, I would expect to have some yeah. problems. Yeah, well, there, there are challenges all the time. There are technical um, challenges. There are sometimes we do experience accidents as well. Um, but the good thing is that we managed to um, conquer most of the techni technical challenges. We also managed to improve, um, you know, from the propeller to the motors to the batteries, basically every part of the thing, you know, because there's not much technologies existed, you know, ready to use for us for this Ehan 184. So we have to come up with our own parts, our own, you know, even testing equipment. So, um, you know, after three generations of the parts improvement, I think we are in a, you know, we are more ready for the next level. What is the main use case? I mean, you could say take an airplane, take a helicopter. Why do we need a drone to, or a UAV to carry a human? Well, because we feel like nowadays there are just like too many, too much traffic around the world. No matter where you live, you know, for this kind of like a short, medium distance traveling, transportation, you know, cars has been the majority of the ways for transport people, but we feel like this is the, you know, two-dimensional solution because we live in a 3D city, but the current transportation system is in actually two-dimensional. So adding the other dimensional to your upper level, make this whole transportation system in 3D will make more sense for our current living system. What are some of the safety measures uh, built into it? Because if you lose uh, control, uh, you know, how can you make sure that it's gonna be a safe landing? Exactly, so one of the good things about multi-rotor um, helicopter is that you're gonna have more backup with the power. So for Ehan 184, which stands for one passenger, eight propellers and four arms, four wings, there are eight propellers, you know, in total. So let's say once we lose the power for one propeller or anything happened, there's gonna be the rest of the propeller to, be, to back up. You know, let's put it in this easy way. The other thing is that with this command center, the command center will be able to know the exact status of each sensors, including the GPS, including the altitude, you know, the barometer. So you uh, can detect the health level. So once anything goes wrong, the command center will know actually before the passenger, you know, is aware of. That's how we make sure the safety of the e Hawaii Four. You still produce consumer drones, exactly. so you know this is obviously going to be taking a lot of money to experiment for a really long-term payoff. So, what is your business model right now to, to make this succeed? So, we have three different product pipeline. The first one is being the consumer drone. We're selling this Ghost Drone series, the consumer drone, to you know most most of the countries in the world. And actually, we're experiencing a a huge you know um, success for during this holiday season in the states and you can buy it in Best Buy at the same time we have a commercial drone that's more for the you know public sector you know to use that bigger drone to carry heavier you know equipment or DSLR to help with the 3D mapping to help with the inspection and most importantly we always want to have this dream and vision to build up this Ehan 184 so those other uh, the consumer aspects are kind of uh, uh, funding the experimentation for the human carrying drone. Yeah, you can understand that way. Okay, how about yourself? Uh, you're a co-founder. Have you had a chance to get in it into an actual drone that carries you? Yes, actually we are, we have, <laughs> 
sorry, we have done multiple times of the test with the human being uh, inside, actually. And uh, the latest one was actually two weeks ago. And we will release more videos. We will release, you know, we're trying to be more transparent with what we are doing. And we will release more videos that actually showing, you know, what we, what we have achieved with a human being inside. But you yourself haven't gotten in yet? or haven't, I haven't done it yet. Are you itching to get in? Exactly, I'm eager. To, I'm, I mean, I'm so happy to do it, but just like the engineers wouldn't allow me to do so at, the, you know, at this point in time. Okay, anything uh, interesting in the uh, drones, the other competition that you've seen or technologies that excite you so far? Well, I think one of the cars I'm seeing, the Friday Future, that was really cool. I mean, I'd love to get in. It's, it's also because of the Yihan 184, it's also be kind of, uh, you know, the flight time for Yihan 184 now is about 20 minutes. So we really hope that with the popularity of, like, of the electric cars, you know, the battery can get cheaper and also better. Because in that case, our, you know, we can get a better, we can get a longer battery, you know, to have a longer flight time. So one technology actually applies to another technology. Exactly. Interesting. Exactly. All right.